Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. I am here to review A Flea in Her Dome, requested by Invader R. Chris and SpongeBob in Greek. A Flea in Her Dome is about when Sandy comes home and SpongeBob and Patrick, they wanted to throw her this nice little surprise welcome home party after when they were crying and they just missed Sandy so much. But then Sandy comes home with the fleas. It causes a lot of itching, a lot more fleas, and this chaos comes inside her dome. I thought this was a very enjoyable episode. This was really good. I just thought it was a lot of fun, a little disturbing, but <laughs> it was just a cool episode. I definitely thought it was pretty original. There were definitely many funny moments in A Flea in Her Dome. One of them, I'll just say, Patrick says Spongebob should climb on Sandy. Patrick climbs on Sandy and Spongebob, and he's just sitting on top of Spongebob eating an apple. Oh my gosh, that... That dumbass Patrick. It was interesting and a little bit intense to see Spongebob, Patrick, and Sandy try to escape the dome, but the fleas getting in their way. And the fleas hatching another flea to a baby flea, all that stuff. That was kind of gross, especially when they did incite Sandy. Ugh. Just a pretty exciting episode for me. I'm not going to lie there. I thought the ending in this episode was actually very funny. My flaws with this episode, as I mentioned earlier, the fleas uh, hatch eggs inside of Sandy. That was just gross, and it kind of gets me all, oh, afterwards. And I didn't like that one brief scene when the flea was actually crawling through Sandy's eyes. I know it was just a brief thing, but that was just, like, a little bit okay. Overall, I'm going to give A Flea in Her Dome a 9 out of 10. The Donut of Shame is requested by Invader R. Chris. So the Donut of Shame is about when Patrick wakes up from Spongebob's kitchen ceiling. You could say that they were hung over from the sleepover. Hmm. So Spongebob is still sleeping. He's still passed out from the sleepover. And the sleepover was for Patrick's birthday. So when Patrick sees the, the delicious donut on Spongebob's hand, he takes it. He goes back to his rock and he eats the donut. But then Patrick felt so guilty about taking the donut away from Spongebob and eating it. When he felt guilty, he actually takes the donut out of his mouth. And when Spongebob calls Patrick that he's going to come over to his rock, Patrick has to hide the donut. Patrick just hides the donut in the most... Oh, oh. Yeah, that, that's all I'm going to say. So, the Donut of the Shame. Obviously, from my reaction, you could say I was grossed out by this episode. And yeah, I was. Just very quickly, I'm going to already say what flaw I had with this episode. That was the ending. I didn't like the ending. That was just sick and... Oh my gosh. Gosh, that was so gross. The Donut of the Shame was actually an enjoyable episode, in my opinion. First of all, kind of interesting to see Spongebob and Patrick wake up hungover. Even though it had nothing with them to drink alcohol or any of that stuff, I still find it kind of interesting. We see characters waking up, I guess you could say passed out, hungover, <laughs> in a cartoon. I just thought this was a funny episode. It's a short episode. Patrick just feeling guilty the whole time was very funny. It's well executed. It has a disgusting, unnecessary ending, which I really did not like. I think it's enjoyable. I'm going to give The Donut of Shame a 9 out of 10.
The Crusty Plate. This is another short episode, and this episode is about when SpongeBob has a hard time scraping off this one spot off the plate. And he has to figure out ways to try to get that one spot off. That's all it focuses on. So it's very simple. And what does 22 Tiger do? Love in SpongeBob SquarePants? Simple plots. I love it when they do simple and creative plots. And the crusty plate, it's a short episode. I'm glad that they made a good use of that short time limit this episode had. I love the crusty plate. This is the best episode of the three pairings, in my opinion. Just the whole premise. I just think it's so creative. I love how simple they made this episode. And every single thing SpongeBob is trying to do just to get that one damn spot off of the plate. It was hysterical. It was hilarious. I was laughing hard. I just love every moment of it. Every moment actually cracked me up in the short time limit. And I just love the ending. Oh, goodness. <laughs> the ending of the crusty play is just so it's freaking hilarious. It's basically everything I love about Spongebob. It's a short episode, but it's a funny episode. It's well written. The premise is very simple. I'm going to give the Krusty Plate a 10 out of 10. Yeah, a 10 out of 10 for this episode. Just no problems with that. No problems with the short episode. I just love this episode. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on the Spongebob episode, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I am 22 Tiger Dude. don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!